There he is. That's a good one. And by accident, because I got a backlash. It, oh, there's another one. I gotta go get my bump for it almost. That's Hey guys, it's Ty. So great to see you guys all again. Welcome to this episode of Get the Gap Outdoors. Today's video, we are creek fishing. You guessed it, for some big smallmouth bass. And you're not gonna believe what we're gonna be trying to use today, but I think it's gonna work. So stay tuned, get some popcorn, and let's see if we can put a herding on some giant smallmouth bass. Thanks for watching. That's probably right. Oh, a fish just busted on it. Oh, dude, a fish just busted on it in the shallows twice and I saw a boil. Oh, it just hit it right there. Oh, it just hit it right there. Oh, it just hit it right there. I just flipped in with a freaking backlash and a giant grabbed it. All right, it's not a giant. That is a nice fish. Nice, 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 nice. Dude, he was angry. Well, I don't know if you guys got any of the fight or me catching this fish, but here's about a 14 incher finally. Caught on the spinner bait. I saw him boil on it twice in the rapids, and then I flipped back in by accident because I got a backlash, and he just picked it up. It was a spinner bait just sitting there. All right, they must be hungry. Let's let this guy, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. We'll get you back. There you go. All right, my skirt came down. That got kind of messed up. I still got my backlash. Let's keep fishing. That was kind of cool. God dang it, I got a bad backlash right now. What happened? Alright, now let's try it. Oh, there's another one. Two casts in a row with the spinnerbait. Nice! That's fun. That's not a bad fish either. Well, that one's all scarred up. Look at the scuff on that one. I don't know if he got in a fight with a pike or what but this one's not bad come on that one's probably like a 13 12 13 all right let's let him go there he goes all right well, um, well let's see if we can make it three in a row on the spinner bait still with a backlash it's not a backlash just my lines dug in Maybe we come down here with the ultralight and get some ultralight action in. I know I've asked in another video. If you guys want to see some ultralight creek fishing videos where we can try to see if we can catch some of these big old smallmouth on four pound test or something like that, let me know right there in the comments. Because I kind of want to do it. But I only want to do it if you guys want to do it. All right, I'll probably still do it. But let me know if you want to see it. Dude, I just kind of brought my spinnerbait down here just for some gigs tonight just planning on still using ned rig and jigs tube jigs that kind of thing not really uni moving baits really big slack pool here and i don't know normally i wouldn't fish the slack pools a lot especially when the water's warm. especially when the water's warm i guess that don't really matter does it doesn't really matter what i normally do because we got a big one on <laughs> whoa <laughs> right as I was talking crap look at the sun on that thing that is gorgeous right as I was talking crap <laughs> that's a nice one he's probably only 15 or so but that is a nice looking fish but they are warm like just to the touch right now it is May but this one is warm and like I said the past three days have been 90 degrees up until then it's been like 50s so quite a cold shock but the fish are chewing. Let's get it back. It seems to be a pretty common theme. Whenever I start talking crap about a spot, or that the fish really should be doing this, not this, or whatever, I seem to catch one. There's one. Whoa. <laughs> that was a quick fight. He's still pretty charged up. <laughs> Oh, that one's a little bit smaller, but he hit pretty close too. Bang, 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 bang. That's four in a row. Not in a row, but hey, 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 hey. I wanted to be nice to you. I was trying to be nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, there he goes. That's four in a row on a spinnerbait. Um, I, if you would have told me what I was going to catch these fish on, I would not believe it. 
And if you'd tell me how bad I was at being able to cast it, I'd probably believe it. Oh, I had a bite right as it dropped. I mean, we're talking right as my lure hit the water, I had a bite. Dang it. I don't think he had it all either. Let's try it again. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. It is making all sorts of a racket in some of that shallow water. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, guys, look at the size of this fish. That's the biggest one so far. That's the biggest one so far. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. I gotta go get my bump board almost. That's That one has to be spawned out. It's gotta be a female. What a freaking fish. Oh, we're gonna, I guess we'll measure it on my rod. My bump board's at my truck, cause I'm a doofus and I don't wanna keep this fish out of the water for very long. It's hot out. So we'll put it up against my rod roughly but it's it's hot out so i need to get this fish some freaking breathing what a fish all right well there he goes <laughs> i accidentally let go of it but you guys got a good look of it oh i'll drop right here what that fish measured and I'll even shave a half inch off of it. Then you guys think I'm full of it. Which, I mean, hey, if you accuse me of being full of it, that's fine. I had fun catching the fish and that's really all that matters. I hope you had fun watching me catch it because that that's awesome. I, I'm so excited. That was the easily the biggest smallmouth I've caught so far of the year. And it didn't come on a net rig. It came on a spinner bait. So, I mean, if you guys like big smallmouth like that one, and maybe you guys don't think that's that big. You know, maybe you're from Lake St. Clair or South Dakota or Northern Wisconsin, Minnesota, where you guys catch five, six, seven pound smallmouth. But around here, we really don't, especially in these little creeks. So I had a lot of fun and I'm pretty excited about that. So if you do like videos where we're catching fish like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna keep bringing you these all summer, at least until they stop biting. If you're new to this channel, I like doing a lot of pike fishing on the Mississippi River, cat fishing on the Mississippi River, other small rivers around this area, pan fishing, crappie fishing, lake fishing, creek fishing, pond fishing, anything around the Midwest, that's really my bread and butter, but I love fishing up north for pike and walleye as well. Really, if you like just any kind of fishing and a little bit of everything, this is the channel for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join that Get the Gaff Outdoors family. But I'm gonna quit jabbering. See you guys when we catch another fish. Oh, that was a bite. Oh. They're holding right up against this current. Oh. I think they're pushing it. Because I'm feeling the weight go away. It's not like it's bouncing off a rock. There's that one. There we go. Or maybe they're just dinkers. <laughs> that's not a bad one. All right, what am I joking about? I keep saying it's not a bad one, and it's not a bad one, because every fish, hey, 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 every fish is a good one. And every fish is a pretty one. I just kind of like the big ones better, but the small ones are still good ones. All right, this is another big slack pool. Just down river a little bit more. We'll give it a couple chucks with the spinner bait and see if this is where the fish are. See if they're in the slack pools now. Well, it is generally how it works. They kind of, first, you can only find them in the rapids when they come up the creek. Then they sit in the slack pools. There's a fish. Angry one. 
Then they sit in these slack pools, hang out for a little while, spawn, eat, other stuff. Then once the water gets real warm, then they stick into the deep pools and the moving water again. But that's a healthy, healthy one. Not a giant, but it's fish number seven on the night, I think. Or is it number six? Maybe it's number six. But it hit pretty close in the slack pool. Well, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Get the Gaff Outdoors. It truly does mean a lot, and I appreciate every single one of you viewers out there, and especially every single one of you subscribers. So if you haven't joined the Get the Gaff Outdoors family yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it, and it makes doing this a whole lot easier. But I will see you guys the next time we are chasing giants.